Okay, let's have a look at uh, how we go about getting our music back off our iPod or our iPhone. Uh, it's not too difficult, doesn't take too long. So if you followed my blog, you should have downloaded a piece of software called SharePod. You can see here that I've already downloaded it. So what you need to do is just double click it on it to open up the uh, compressed folder. And in there, there'll be an application called SharePod. So click on it and drag it to your desktop, something like that. Okay, you can now close down that folder. So make sure your iPhone or iPod is connected at this point. I mean, you can see mine, uh, I've got my uh, iPhone connected. Okay, um, so what we need to do is just start up SharePod. So double click on the icon. Now the first thing you'll get if you've got iTunes running like I have is you'll get a warning saying that um, you should actually close iTunes during the process. So what we'll do is we'll click on the close iTunes button and let it close down iTunes. There we go. You can see that it's found my iPhone um, and it's listed all the music that's on there, uh, including things like Girls Aloud, which is great. Okay, um, I'm not proud. So let's have a look and see how we get the music back off here. So it's pretty easy to do. I mean, you can sort your music by artist, by album. Let's go by album, for example. So what we need to do now is just select what we want to get off the iPod. So if you want to take absolutely everything, the simple way to do it is hold down the control key and press A. That will select absolutely everything. Okay. Um, if you want to select just the odd album or the odd track, it's easy enough. You can just move through the list and select whatever you want. So I'm going to choose, for example, everything from Adele. So I'll select the first Adele song, found the last one, and hold down the shift key and hit the last, last one in the album. Okay, so you can see that I've got a number of uh, 17 tracks selected now. So what we need to do now is just click the copy to computer button at the top left hand corner. Okay, so we click that. It chooses where to put the music. Now by default it will always go into your music folder. Um, the other thing to watch out for is that by default it will, always imp it will also import the music into your iTunes folder as well, into your iTunes library. Uh, which is probably what you want but it may not be so it's worth bearing that in mind so what we'll do is we'll let it import it into that folder uh, and we'll also let it import it into my iTunes uh, library as well so let's click OK and wait for that to finish it shouldn't take too long There we go, it's finished. It'll probably be a quick one yours because I just took a call while that was running. Um, okay, so when it's finished, um, you can close down SharePod. If we now have a quick look in our file folder and the music, we should see that we've got our Dell albums in there. There we go, it's, it's transferred it properly from, from my iPhone. So let's fire up iTunes and we'll have a quick look in there. There we go, and you'll see that you've now got that music in your library. So once it's in iTunes, of course, you can then synchronize it to uh, to your other devices or, or whatever. So uh, yeah, anyway, we managed to get the music off. So I hope that helped.